Welcome to Cohesive Friendship Unit. I'm Chris. I'm here with Jake. Hey, guys. And Brian. What's going on? Guys, a little game called Sekiro Shadows Die Twice came out. Uh, it's a spiritual successor. It's made by the same guys from software who made the Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne games. So uh, needless to say, it's very challenging. And some people picked up the game. They bought into the hype train. They've been playing the game. And they realized it is hard, and it is perhaps not for them, and they cannot finish the game. So they're mad, and they're saying, where's the easy mode? We want easy mode. We want to experience the story, at least. We paid for the game. We want an easy mode. Uh, there's a lot of content out on this topic, but we're going to put our two cents in. Should games need to have an easy mode, especially if it's a hard game? We're going to dive all in, but real quick, we are doing a giveaway every 10 subscribers. We're giving away Steam code. All you have to do is be subscribed. If you want more information, you can either comment down below in the video. I'd be happy to respond, or you can check out our channel page. There's a video that says everything about it, and the description of that video has all the details and the most up-to-date list on the codes that we are giving away. So guys, what do you think about this? Do, do we need easy mode? Are we babies? Uh. I'm going to hop in with a little more context because, as people know, Dark Souls is one of my favorite games in the world. Everyone um, on the internet knows this. It's true. I mean, <laughs> everyone on the internet watches our channel, so they oh, know by now. Hell yeah. But uh, it's it's interesting with the Dark Souls genre specific, well, not genre, the specific Dark Souls games. Uh, one of the things that I've said many times when I talk about it is that it it feels like one of those complete package games like not only is the gameplay really good but the environment is perfect the sound is perfect like aesthetically the game is complete it it sends one message um, through all avenues graphics environment sound gameplay menus etc is that Everything message just... you suck and we're gonna fuck your corpse no, it's okay. oh, well, it's not. But part of the gameplay, that difficulty continues on with the message of this is a dark, uh, depressing world, and it's just you against everyone. Um, and I mean, a lot of there's a lot to experience in Dark Souls. It's a very good game, and the story it tells is a very good, um, even in spite of the fact that there is no like storytelling mechanism. It's really just fighting bosses and the context of where you are. Uh, but it does come with that really, really difficult gameplay. Uh, so it's it's interesting because the, the story is great in my opinion, but it's kind of locked behind that very difficult gameplay, which aids in the storytelling, but it's also kind of a barrier to people. Uh, so it's, yeah, I don't know. I haven't played Sekiro. I've heard it's very hard. Um, but it's 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 interesting, and I'm not surprised to hear it because I've heard it's very difficult. I've seen the gameplay; it looks hard, um, but there is a story that people want to experience. Oh, so. fair enough. I don't, I don't want to talk forever, but there's a lot here. I mean, I yeah, I've got something to say. I, Go I have a oh. fairly fairly simple argument. I'm coming from the perspective of games as like art. Like, you're going to treat it like a painting or a book or a movie. Uh, when you read a book and you can't, you know, so, some especially, I remember when I was, like, learning to read, when Brian and I were learning to read, because we went to the same school, so I'm going to pull Brian in on this. It, there was this, like, stupid rule that I always hated and I never followed, but it was pick up a book in the library, start reading it. If you don't understand a word, then, like, put your finger up. If you hit, like, five fingers in a page then you can't check out that book or whatever it's it's not for you it's too hard for you and there are plenty of books that either you can understand uh be it like you you don't have the prerequisite education to understand uh you don't understand the vocabulary or you don't understand the lore like it's the fourth book in a series uh and the author isn't expected to just you know have some weird easy mode like sometimes they have a little plot summary at the beginning or sometimes they have like a little lore dump in the beginning but it's not expected it's not by any means necessary and i kind of feel like that's the same way for games it's like yeah i mean sometimes you're not ready for it and there's a reason that the like like going back to the book analogy there's a reason those words are being used like yeah you can read the spark notes for 
Paradise Lost, but you're not going to get the same artistic appreciation for Paradise Lost as if you just read the spark notes for it. Same thing goes for the game. Like, if if the difficulty is tied to, like, story building elements and that's how they want to, like, deliver their message, then that's, that's how it is. Like, that's part of the experience. I mean... I guess in a sense, and I think that the, the reading thing is interesting, because, like, books are books are different. Like, books are, are meant to be thought more, more thought-provoking, because it is just words on a page, and you have to put a lot more together by yourself. Like, I, I draw more parallels to, to movies with video games, like, in terms of an art form. Because, like, you could say the same thing about movies. Like, there'll, there'll be movies that you'll watch the first time or the second time or the third time, and you just don't get it until, you know, either you've had some life experience or, or whatever, and something just clicks for you and, you and you get it. Yeah. And I think that there's something to be said for the difficulty aspect of that, you know, that that you're getting it by by doing the same thing over and over and over again, like, until you get it right. But I'm very much, like, as opposed to you guys, I'm very much a casual, get like, when I play a video game, I don't want to be, like, I don't want it to beat me up. Like, I want to be entertained. I want it to be an enjoyable way to spend my free time, and grinding stuff is, it's just not fun. Like... If you have to keep yeah. fighting the same boss over and over because it's so hard, like it's not enjoyable anymore. Like I don't, I that's just how I see video games as as something that's meant to be enjoyed in the in the fun sense of the word. Um, and that's that's kind of how I see movies too. Like I don't really get into the really deep, dark, like you have to think about it type movies i i just want to be entertained and i think there's a lot of people out there that are probably in the same boat so you know do, do you need to include an easy setting no it's your game do whatever you want but i think that you're you're closing it off to a lot of people uh if if you don't have some way of at least toning it down and to take it from another angle right you know if you get frustrated with the thing and you put it down after 20 hours or whatever you're not you're not experiencing the full game you're not seeing the entire story of the game because you got sick of it after 20 hours because it was too fucking hard you know uh, and i think that in a sense if you take it to an extreme that selling a game on the basis that the game is hard is almost it's almost shitty game design because you haven't thought about making it challenging but not hard like in the sense that it's it's not you this is just an impossible thing to do and after that there's another impossible to like and i get well-structured games like if you put it together well you can make it challenging but not hard but again i'm saying if you take it to an extreme it, it's just not it's a sign of poor forethought and you know some people just don't like that constantly being challenged by a game and they don't they want to play the game but not have to be grinding all the time and i'm one of those people because uh, i'll openly admit that i suck at video games so yeah that's, that's my five cents I've also kind of become more casual as like now I have a full time job and I don't have the patience to, you know, sink six hours into a game at a time. Uh, and I surprisingly, I am on the side of games should have some sort of reduced difficulty if it makes it more accessible to people that are just interested in playing through the story. Um, I'm a big believer that games should have a set difficulty. Um, so a lot of the AAA games like Wolfenstein's coming to mind has your traditional four difficulty settings, which I think is not right. I, they, it kind of artificially increases the difficulty of the gameplay just by making enemies squishier and 
it really doesn't work. It, I, I think it's just an excuse for making an unbalanced game. Um, and none of the settings really fit right. Whereas a game like Dark Souls or like Risk of Rain, for example, that have just one difficulty setting is it's all balanced around that one setting. So that game is meant to ex be experienced the way you're playing it. Uh, but normally I, I would say I am on the side of being more accessible. I think in this conversation, a lot of people bring up Celeste as a good example of a hard game that also found the happy medium of creating an accessible way for people to play if they they couldn't handle the difficulty. Uh, but I struggle with this to say that they should lower the difficulty because, like I said, the the challenge of the game really adds to the story. And if you introduce some sort of like god mode where you just easily stomp through all the enemies and all the bosses, that really takes away from a major aspect of the game, which is the whole world is against you and it's not easy. Yeah, no, I I agree. I'm I'm kind of in your boat, Jake. Like I I feel like if you have a game and the the gameplay element doesn't really tie into the story it's more either you know it's an art like street fighter yeah that should probably have difficulty modes for a number of reasons one there's no gameplay like it, it, the the story is very weak it's like you know you're just fighting it's just street fighting you're um, fighting in the street yeah well like yeah you're, exactly brian you're fighting in the street but like like it would be like if you were playing Super Smash Bros. against the computer and you can only fight level f 5 CPUs, there was no scaler. It's like, yeah, of course there should be a difficulty setting there, but for something like Dark Souls, where the, the difficulty is very intentionally tied to the the experience of the video game, I would say, yeah, they, they don't, they shouldn't have to have a, a difficulty scaler. I, I think it's one of those things where if you want to put it in, that's great, and people will appreciate it. And on the flip side, if you feel that it would degrade the experience, like in Sekiro, then yeah, you should leave it out. I do want to kind of just bring up one point, though, and flip this on its head. So Sekiro came out, like, earlier this month. Uh, Yoshi's Crafted World came out this week from Nintendo, and that game is ridiculously easy and it's actually getting some criticism for being just way too easy the enemies don't come at you at all they just stand there you just do whatever you want basically and it's just kind of a fun romp and people are saying that should have the exact opposite of Sekiro it should have a difficulty scaler where things get harder yeah but do you really care if you're six that's what I'm saying. Like, like who get? Yeah, that's. I'm with you, Brian. I'm like, you. You guys got it. You got to see the demographic. You got to see the demographic. This is like right. the game you, the first game you ever own as a kid is Yoshi's Crafted World. For and me. like, straight out of the gate, I wouldn't have bought Sakuro because like it's known. Like that's kind of one of its selling points is that it's a difficult game, and I don't enjoy it. So like. It, it kind of screens things out in the beginning, and if, if it makes a difference to have it on that difficulty setting, then absolutely, just just make whatever game you want. You know, it's 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 your game. But I would say realize that that's going. It is going to shut out some parts of your market. Just like making a game too easy makes it unappealing to adults, basically. Right, and. I don't, I wouldn't I don't think I would ever say that it's on kind of like the consumer to do their research and figure out if the game is not for them because that's kind of very anti-consumer. Uh, well, it is. I mean, it's your it's your money. You want to know what you're getting, you right? Know? But at the same time, like as nice as it is to say consumers should do their own research, there's only so much time we have in the day, uh, and I think it's reasonable to assume that a game that is in the same vein as three previous games by the exact same company will be similar. Um, and when it's far more difficult, that's very disappointing. Um, but as I don't know, I the difficulty conversation is, I mean, you can go on forever about it, but I think there is something to be said that 
maybe they just did a bad job balancing it. Maybe it's not that they should introduce a difficulty scaler, but they should have just done a better job. It's I I think they may have just gone too far in the difficulty setting. And I think they kind of lost the idea of telling a story using gameplay as a part of that story. And they just kind of focus too much on the difficulty and people are suffering because they tried to identify too much with one aspect of their game. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. That's fair enough. Yeah, I mean, that that, that was kind of not a, a, a consequence, but it was definitely part, one, like one of the reasons games were so hard back in the day was because they were essentially designed to be quarter munchers. It was like, we're going right. to basically have bad game design and intentionally unbalance things so that you dump money into it. I guess what I'm saying is it's not unheard of to like in either maliciously or not maliciously totally unbalance a game. Right. I don't I don't think they're doing it maliciously. I think it's more of they may have lost their vision with this one. Uh, and to be honest, I didn't buy Sakura because it didn't look like something I'd be interested in. And I likely did more research than your average consumer because I love their games. Uh, but it, I mean, looking at the game, it really does not have the same aspects of Dark Souls that I really enjoyed, which is the careful gameplay, the full story, the all that aesthetic, all the aesthetic pieces that I always talk about. Uh, so I, I, I think they just made a mistake and did not balance their game correctly and focus too much on that aspect. I don't know if they can really go back on that now and change the level of difficulty i mean that's really what the whole game is based around right now so i don't have a path forward for them but i'm also i'm not the boss of from software so not my job <laughs> yeah fair enough i mean i i think we're pretty kicked on this unless brian has anything else to add well you know all i had to add was if you're just hoping that the game of life ends up getting a difficulty setting sometime soon so you can maybe turn it down a little bit. Go ahead and hammer your thoughts on that down in the word box and we'll get working on that. And uh, like Chris said at the beginning of Vidya, if uh, you subscribe to this channel, you'll be automatically entered into a chance to win some Steam codes. We're giving away a ton of them because we have a veritable shit ton of them. Uh, so go ahead and click that subscribe button. You know you like the video if you watched it this far. And uh, smoke them if you got them, guys. That's all for me tonight, Chris. All right. Thank you, Brian. We'll catch you guys next time.